diagram shows two towns A and B on the equator. A is on longitude 30 degrees west and B is on longitude X. So A, this is the point which is on this longitude 30 degrees west and B, this is the point which is on this longitude X longitude. Okay, so question A. The time at B is 17.05 hours when it is zero, uh, when it is 14.05 uh, hours at A. So the time which is at B is 17.05 and the time at A is 14.05. Find the longitude X. So they want you to find the longitude representing what? X. Okay. So how can you find the longitude representing X? So first thing, we are going to find the, the time difference. Okay. We are going to find the time difference between point A and point B. So, we have been told that at A, the time was 14, 0, 5. Wow, at point B, the time is 17, 0, 5. So, this is the very, uh, very important information to take note of. Alright, so the time difference now. Time difference, I'll use the initials TD. Time difference between point A and B will be equal to, we are going to get uh, 17.05 minus 14.05. Okay, so the time difference now is going to be, so we are subtracting, huh? we just say uh, 17.05 minus 14.05. So uh, 5 minus 5 is uh, 0, 0. 7 minus 4, it's a 3. So the time difference is see, 3 hours. So this is our time difference, or this is the difference in hours, which is see, 3 hours between point A and what? B. Now let us look at um, the question. They are saying find the longitude X. Find the longitude X. So we have not answered um, the question, but we have just found the time difference to help us to find the longitude for what? For X. So in order to find the longitude for x, we are going to say, this is what we are going to do. In order to find the longitude for x, we are going to say, time difference is equal to, okay? So I'll use alpha, the base angle. So this alpha is representing the difference in longitudes between point A and B, okay? After they have added this and this, the difference is what they are getting, okay? So now... Uh, there's one I've said added this is on west, this is on east, so they're supposed to add. So alpha over 15 what degrees. Okay, so from here, time difference we have found that it's three. So I'm going to say three is equal to alpha over 15. Okay, so we divide by one, then we cross multiply one times alpha, we'll get alpha, which will be equal to. 3 times 15, so 3 times 5, it's uh, 15, we write 5, we carry 1, 3 times 1 is 3, plus that 1, 4. So, uh, the basic angle or the difference in longitudes between point A and B is 45 degrees, okay? So, therefore, you say, therefore, the specific now angle or the specific longitude for this X is going to be, so remember what I said at first, for this is for this 45 the difference in longitude between point A and B. So for them to get this for 45, it means that they had to add, uh, they had to add this longitude 30 plus the longitude which will be at X. So what they did was, after finding this 45, to find the specific longitude for X, they would just say 45 degrees minus the longitude which is 30 degrees. Okay, so. Uh, we say there for theta is equal to, so 45 degrees minus uh, 30 degrees, we are going to get 10 degrees east, okay? This is the longitude for, for x. So right here, we we'll say longitude x is equal to 10 degrees east, Okay, so the reason why it's on east, when you look at where this X is lying, this is on the east hemisphere, okay? So we have answered our question A. We now come to question what? B. So question B reads, this is our question B right here. A ship sailed due east from A to B at an average speed of 150 knots 
find the time it took the ship to travel from point A to B. Okay? So, how can we answer this question? Alright, so, uh, how are we going to find the, the time it took the ship to travel from point A to B? Okay? So, this is simple. We are going to use this formula. It says speed is equal to distance over time. This is the formula that we are going to use. Now, let us organize our data right here. So, speed is equal to. So, you have been given the speed in the question, which is this one, 450 knots. So, your speed is 450 knots, okay? Now, what about distance? So, your distance, so since we are looking at point A and B, okay? We are looking at point A and B. And these points are lying on the same longitude, sorry, the same latitude, point A and B. They are saying they are lying on this latitude, okay? So we are just going to, to multiply, okay? We are going to do this. All right, so we are going to do this since it's distance between point A and B that are lying on the same latitude. So we say uh, theta times skiste, okay? Theta times k stay. If you want, you can say cos uh, x. So this x is the difference in latitude, but they are lying on the same latitude. So you just say distance is equal to. So this theta, you get the difference in what? Longitude between point A and B. And the difference in longitude is uh, 45. Okay? This one. So times skist. So when you place on your calculator, cos k is 1. So same as 45 times k times 1. So this is our distance, okay? Then time, question mark, is what we want. So let us just substitute on our formula. We'll just say uh, speed, it's 450. So 450 is equal to your distance. We'll just say 45 times skist over your time t. Because we want time, okay? I hope we are moving together. So from here, what are we going to do? We are just going to do this. We say over 1, we close, multiply. So I've not multiplied these two because this is paper 1. So I need to use them so that I'll be able to calculate nicely. So for 450 times T, we're going to have 450 uh, T is equal to 1 times 45 times kist. We'll get 45 times kist like this. Okay? So from here, uh, I think we can proceed on this side. So from here, we are going to say we want to find the value of t. We divide by 450. Even here, we divide by 450. So this and this will cancel. We remain with t is equal to. So now from here, you can see uh, this 0. Okay? You can cancel this. Or let's do this. 45 here, it's 1. 45 into this... Uh, 45, again it's 1. So this 1 and the 0, you have 10. So we are remaining with 1 times skisti, which is a skisti, over here, this 1 and this 0. It's a 10, okay? So time is equal to this 0 and this 0 out. 1 into 6, it's 6. So the time it took, um, the time it took the ship to travel from A to B is what? 6 hours. So here we are just going to write 6 hours. Okay, so these were the answers to this question. So thank you so much for having time to view this content. Bye-bye.